Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the latest laser cubes in Touch Designer. So, in this case I'm using two laser cubes in parallel, but you can just use one. This works fine. I'm gonna pause my script and explain to you how to get this working. Uh, don't mind the smoke, that's just um, incense, yeah, for nice effects. Okay, so of course you need a laser cube, you need Touch Designer, the software download from Mac or Windows, yeah, and I'm actually gonna close this. and start record here okay so you can get my script on github there are some exp uh, explanations here but uh, you can click here to download open with touch designer yeah okay okay I'm gonna pause this before explaining anything. Um, so yeah, just a quick note. If you want to use two or more laser cubes at the same time on the same machine, uh, you need to ch change something in their settings. Uh, because I am running two of them in Ethernet and each of them in server mode, um, I am a client on both networks, but both networks need to have different IP addresses. So you will need to go into the admin page of the laser cube, and for your second one or third one, or yeah, you need to change the server IP address. In my case, the second one the two goes here, the three would go here if it's your third one but yeah, don't don't put the two here because this won't work, this needs to go on another network and it's here, yeah, okay if you just want to use one laser cube, don't mind that and we can proceed okay, that was the fun part um, okay so both my laser cube are connected uh, touch designer is running my script is half okay I'm zooming my script is half this is the, the log output if I click on this button this will uh, launch my script so let's see what happens okay there's one cube at uh, powered on let's check connected battery 44% temperature um, and the buffer free count okay IP address I can see yeah that's the correct IP address the rate 30 kpps 30,000 um, sample per second points per second okay um, so let's pause this and in my case I just want to show you that it's really easy to use your second cube also I'm copying paste and in the second operator I just change the IP address okay one two I press on and this is working okay I have a, a thing to change the scale okay yeah nice I can change the intensity here yeah go a bit more this is fun but okay let's come back to safe points okay so both of them are independent battery different buffer yeah okay here we can even see the data sent 
to the cubes. Oh my god. Uh, time scroll. Time scroll. Yeah, whatever. This goes fast. So. Let's see what happens when. Well, I disconnect my cubes. I disconnect one. I press on. Yeah, not connected. Okay. I reconnect it. Yeah. Connected. Perfect. Plug and play. So, yeah, one. So, if you want to use your laser cube in your project in Touch Designer, what you have to remember is that you have to import this. This is the most important. Um, and this also comes with it because it needs to run in asynchronous so when I'm pressing on on this one this also run this TD async IO but the main script is my script is here is in here if we want to see what's in here actually we can double click and zoom in so we get the data from the laser operator that goes into a big array, a table, x, y, r, g, b, and that is sent um, in the network with this script, yeah, in Python, in real time, 60 FPS. Okay, so what you need to make this work, you need to feed in, uh, to feed a laser operator in my script. This is the in that goes into the chop to table, and we get we extract the x y r g b in a table, but. What we want in is a laser operator that would take um, a sup or a chop. In my case, uh, I'm showing the input uh, sup geometry. And there are a few parameters um, that need to match your uh, script for the touch designer for the laser cube so the rate here is matching this rate and then you have a scale and then you have the color um, scale also they can be individually um, controlled but I just want like the laser intensity here okay so I've added a, a viewer that can like uh, show you what's the output, what's the what should be sent to the laser. You can uh, show it in the background with this button, or you can even like right click and view and have it in a full window if you want. You can like, yeah. Um, I have like a, a small text here that can shows the number of points in uh, the geometry that we are sending. Here is a small uh, operator to add colors to the geometry. I won't go into details explaining those operators and what they do because this is basic uh, touch designer logic um, but let me know in the comments if you like my example and if you want more details or explanation about it and I could make another video even like showing more effects I have created for my personal shows so yeah this is my four examples. I have added like a Fibonacci spirals where you can like set the numbers of 
um, mirrors here and like the number of cycle into the Fibonacci spiral it can go deep yeah and the number of points yeah okay all of this can be can be changed and you can play with everything to have like a an example of what a laser cube can do this is just to show like the, the outer boundaries okay let's go manual this is uh, to show the, the boundaries of the laser this goes to minus one minus one 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 on the x y axis yeah this is like a nice noisy circle that gets duplicated uh, and my favorite actually is this one this makes a little bit of noise with the laser cube because it needs to power off and power on uh, for each point but yeah this is the philotaxis and you can google it with a golden number this is a natural spiral that happens in nature and there's like a specific angle at which it appears I think this is around 137 something but this is a nice animation and it creates a lot of nice shapes okay let's come back to the to the loop yeah um, what else to say get the scale here that is controlling the laser operator you get the viewer you get even like the number of points in the frame you get the oh yeah I need to explain this the buffer free because every time you send points to the laser cube it can't draw the point instantly so it's gonna store every point or every frame well basically every point you're sending it in a, a buffer it can store 6000 points and it's gonna well draw them as fast as it can I guess um, so latest ra laser cube has a better Galvan galvanometers motors that can go up to 35 kilo points per second that would be much nicer and so much faster uh, much faster drawing yeah so buffer temperature yeah that's basically it thank you for watching uh, if you have any question let me know in the comments or around even on github you can make uh, modification and uh, improvements don't hesitate to share your art and uh, say what you think about it yeah thank you